So I'm trying to change my strategy with how I'm dealing with my YouTube channel and how I'm making content. And my one goal is to stick with one project for at least six months, maybe even a year, and just see how far I can take it. And one of the projects that I'm building is a climbing management mobile app so that climbing gyms and users can actually like track their progress with the indoor uh, routes that they're climbing and stuff. There's a lot of apps out there that already exist like this, but 13 years ago, I tried building one, but I never finished it. And so I kind of want to just focus and go all in on just working on this one app so I can at least check it off my bucket list of things I never finished, but I should have. So with that being said, I do want to demo something really cool when you're building out a REST API. You typically want to have some type of IntelliSense or TypeScript type so that your client, whether that's your mobile app or your front-end website, can make requests to your API and have IntelliSense out of the box. So without it, you'll probably see code that looks like this, where you do like a fetch request, you have to hard code the URL, maybe for the body you have no idea what parameters this thing takes in. But with Hono, there's actually a way to have this all be generated automatically. You can import the type. So let me just show you this real quick. I'm going to delete this, and then I'm going to uncomment this. So notice how we're importing an API client over here. If I do API, I get the IntelliSense for all my different endpoints. So I have an endpoint for gyms, for routes, for users, for wall sections. And I can go ahead and just click routes. And then inside of this, I can actually do like a get post URL, or I can actually call the ID endpoint, and then I can send in a get request. And now we're going to have nice IntelliSense that tells us exactly what we need to pass in. So we need to pass in like an ID, and that needs to be a string. So we can just go ahead and do that, which is a lot more convenient than having to like remember what parameters need to be passed in. I do think I'm doing like a put somewhere. So let's go down and look at the put. So over here, I'll notice I'm doing a put. And if you hover over JSON, it's telling you that it needs to take in the following things. It needs to take in a type a wall section ID, a color, a bouldering grade, and a rope grade. Now I'm getting a type error. I'm not really sure why, but let me just show you this. If I do like an empty bracket here, notice that I get IntelliSense for the payload that defines this uh, put endpoint. And this is very similar to like TRPC, but without all the extra abstraction that TRPC gives you. Like this is just basically generating the types for you automatically, and you get a nice API client you can use wherever. So how did I set this up? Here's my Hono app. And as long as you define all of your endpoints chained together like this, you can then export a app type, which has like the entire definition of your REST API. So let's go into the routes controller and let's go to the put endpoint. So over here we have a put endpoint that takes in a ID. And you'll notice here I'm using something called Z validator. So this is a Hono slash Zod validator. And I do believe this is required to get the automatic like type safety with your client API. But you can define like in your parameters, okay, this takes in a string. And then in your JSON object that's getting, you know, sent in as the payload, you can define the types, the wall section ID, et cetera. So this is how I'm defining all the stuff on the back end. And then I'm using that on my mobile app to know what parameters this thing takes in. And then I have an API TS file, which exists inside of my mobile app. And you'll see here, I'm basically importing that app type type definition from my my backend API. This is a mono repo, so I have like three separate uh, apps. I have the API, I have the mobile app, and I have a Tanstack start web page for like the marketing. And you'll notice I import the app type, and then I say HC, this is Hono client, which you can also import in the mobile app, which allows you to do API dot, and then you get a list of all your routes. So I would highly recommend if you're building a REST API with TypeScript, like you should have this set up so that your clients, assuming that your client is also in TypeScript, can get all these type definitions, right? And so instead of having to use TRPC, you can use Hono and have these type definitions. You could use Nest.js, which I do believe generates the type definitions already. Or if your API is in a different language like Go, typically you can define like a Swagger doc. I think it's called like Open API docs now. And you can take those docs and run it through a converter so that you can get all this nice IntelliSense out of the box. Again, this is just one example using Hono, but there are other ways to do this depending on your API, your setup. But I would highly recommend that your front end or your mobile app or your client has this IntelliSense when connecting to your API and doing these requests because it can get really complicated really fast when you have hundreds of endpoints and you change the payload definitions and you change the parameters and you refactor them and then your entire application breaks because you don't really know, you know how you're accessing that API. All right, cool. Just want to share with you all. Hope you guys have a good day and happy coding.